Hello, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can upload videos to YouTube, whether you have created videos from screencast or you have them saved somewhere on your device. So the helpful thing first is making sure that you know what YouTube account you want to upload your files into. And I would recommend going to YouTube and signing into that account just so you can get oriented with that first. Google has a bunch of really helpful YouTube getting started guides. If you just go to the Google Help Center and you search YouTube, they walk you through everything step by step. And I would recommend doing that before you get too far into this video. So if you've already set up a Google account and you've set up your YouTube channel before, you have to have a YouTube channel in order to upload videos. Otherwise your account is purely just for passively consuming content, not actively uploading things yourself. So once you've done that, to get started, if I'm perhaps using Screencastify is what I'm using to screen record everything on my computer and I want to upload my files into YouTube directly from there, I have a couple of options. You know Screencastify is an extension on Google Chrome, so it's up here in my Chrome toolbar. And to open up any of my recordings, I can click the three line button here and go to my recordings. Otherwise, if I wasn't recording right now, I could get to it a little bit easier. It will show any and all Screencastify recordings that you've made on your account right here. So if I get to a video where I am good to go and I would like to upload that somewhere, then what I would do is go to my video. I can watch it from here. I can open it in editor if I want to edit this and trim it down and change things if I need to. It always names it as untitled and always saves it into your Google Drive when you use Screencastify. But here is where you have some additional options that I'd like to point out. So you have two ways that you can upload your videos to your credential into YouTube. The first way is probably the most straightforward, and that is simply just downloading this onto your device. Now, if you have a device that doesn't have a whole lot of storage space left, I probably wouldn't recommend this because it will take up some space on your computer's um, hard drive. So if you do this, then I would recommend cleaning that out and not keeping them on your computer forever if you're doing this regularly. But you could download it. Um, I usually just do export as MP4. And then it does take a little bit for it to export. And it's going to save it onto your device. All right. So it'll tell me whenever it's finished there. All right, so you have a couple ways. You can either download the MP4 from there and then upload it into YouTube. The other option is to click download and then it downloads it right here and it does take some space again on your computer and it does take it a few minutes. And if that's the way I go, then I go to my YouTube and whenever I'm logged into my YouTube account and you can double check it's the right one by clicking your profile icon here. Whenever I am ready to upload it, I'll just do upload video. And then the fast way is that if you still have it saved here on the bottom of your screen, you can drag and drop and move it over. Right, and it does take it some time there, but you would walk through these steps, giving it a description, a title, you can change the thumbnail if you would like, any other options here, okay? And then I can see all my videos uploading, and if I don't save it, then it just keeps there as a draft, all right? The other thing that you can do if you would like to kind of go about uploading this in a different way, you technically don't have to save it on your computer unless you want to. That's the step I just showed you. The other process here is you can connect your YouTube account, so the GEM micro credential YouTube account, to your Screencastify and then quickly upload from there. If that is what you would like to do, you would click Publish to YouTube. And then right here, it's probably just going to show your BCSC account. And it's really important that you upload all of your videos to the GEM micro credential account. So it's all in one place in case we have any staff members who just want to watch the videos and get some helpful tips there. So if that's the case, you just see your personal account, then you can add a channel. And when you add a channel, you just pick this account right here, this GEM account, and I can upload it right from there. If I had picked that, then on my Screencastify video details here, I can click upload. I would usually do it as unlisted just so you don't have to worry about people commenting on it. And then I'm good to go from there. 
So those are just some of the simple ways that you can use Screencastify to upload your videos for your credential. And it's pretty straightforward from there. You have two options. You can download it and then upload into YouTube directly, or you can go from Screencastify's upload menu and click YouTube after pairing your account. If you have any questions, please let us know.